What if one single project will revolutionize the future of underwater military operations? Imagine a vehicle that can stay submerged for extended periods, autonomously patrolling the ocean's depths without ever needing to surface. DARPA, the U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, has once again pushed the boundaries of groundbreaking technology. Among its most recent and ambitious initiatives is the Manta Ray, an Advanced Uncrewed Underwater Vehicle, or UUV designed to redefine underwater operations. This project promises to transform how naval forces conduct surveillance, reconnaissance, and defense in the challenging underwater environment. The Manta Ray project was conceived to develop an advanced UUV capable of remaining submerged for extended periods, covering vast distances without needing to return to base. The vision for the vehicle includes the ability to perform a variety of tasks without constant human intervention or support. It is designed with multiple payload bays that can carry different types of equipment and sensors, making it adaptable to a wide range of missions, from environmental monitoring to mine detection. This versatility ensures that the Manta Ray can meet diverse operational needs, expanding the scope of naval missions. The inspiration for its name comes from the marine creature's graceful and efficient movement through water, which the UUV aims to emulate. This concept of biomimicry is central to the design philosophy of the project, ensuring that the submersible can navigate and operate efficiently in underwater environments. The project gained momentum in March 2020 when DARPA awarded developmental contracts to Northrop Grumman, Lockheed Martin, and PACMAR Technologies to mature concepts for the UUV. By December 2021, the focus narrowed to Northrop Grumman and PACMAR Technologies, with each company receiving Phase II contracts to construct full-scale technology demonstrators. Just a quick moment before we unveil the rest. If you're new here, consider subscribing to this channel. Stay up to date and never miss out on the latest insights. Details about the full range of capabilities for the Manta Ray UUV are still emerging. However, contracting documents and DARPA announcements provide insight into the goals and technological innovations driving this endeavor. The Manta Ray is constructed using carefully selected materials to ensure durability and long-term operational capability. To withstand the harsh underwater environment, the vehicle is built with materials that resist biofouling, corrosion, and degradation. Biofouling, the accumulation of marine organisms on submerged surfaces, can impair underwater vehicle performance. By utilizing anti-fouling materials and coatings, the Manta Ray maintains its efficiency and reduces the need for frequent maintenance. Additionally, these materials are designed to endure prolonged exposure to saltwater, ensuring the UUV remains operational over extended missions. In terms of propulsion and navigation, the Manta Ray employs a combination of advanced systems that enable it to move efficiently through the water. It utilizes buoyancy-driven gliding as a primary mode of movement, conserving energy by leveraging natural buoyancy changes to glide through the ocean. This energy-efficient method is complemented by traditional propellers and sophisticated control surfaces, which provide precise maneuverability and stability. These propulsion systems allow the Manta Ray to navigate complex underwater environments, adjust its depth, and maintain steady courses over long distances. Another standout feature is its modular design. This innovative approach allows the vehicle to be transported in separate sections and assembled rapidly in the field. This modularity enhances the UUV's operational flexibility, facilitating quick deployment in various locations without the need for extensive logistical support. Innovative energy management and harvesting techniques are also crucial for extending its operational endurance. The goal is not only to design systems with low power requirements, but also to draw power from the submersible's operating environment. DARPA is collaborating with experts such as those from Sandia National Laboratories to explore these techniques. One primary method is wave energy conversion, which harnesses kinetic energy from ocean waves and converts it into electrical power. Another innovative approach is salinity gradient power, which leverages the difference in salt concentration between seawater and freshwater to generate electricity. This process involves a stack of alternating anode and cathode exchange membranes with compartments filled alternately with salt water and fresh water. The salinity difference generates a voltage across the membranes, 
which can be captured and stored as electrical energy. Northrop Grumman is also collaborating with SeaTrek, a renewable energy technology company, to harness energy from the ocean's thermal gradient. Thermal energy pods are being developed to exploit the thermal gradient where warmer surface water meets colder deep sea water. These pods function like underwater refueling stations, allowing the manta ray to replenish its energy reserves without surfacing or relying on support vessels. Communication in deep sea environments is challenging due to the high conductivity of salt water, which impedes traditional radio transmissions. The manta ray UUV can employ very low frequency VLF communications, which can penetrate seawater to certain depths, enabling basic data transmission. However, other solutions are also being developed. Northrop Grumman plans to use a proprietary data transfer technology called data bubbles. These small devices store mission data and float to the surface, where they use RF satellite communications to transmit information to command centers. This method ensures that critical data collected during missions can be relayed without the UUV needing to surface, maintaining its stealth and operational security. Finally, the vehicle is designed for autonomous operations, minimizing the need for human intervention. Advanced artificial intelligence models power this capability, enabling the UUV to make real-time decisions and adapt to changing conditions. The AI systems process vast amounts of data from onboard sensors, allowing the manta ray to navigate, detect threats, and collect data independently. This autonomy is crucial for long-duration missions, allowing the manta ray to perform complex tasks without constant human oversight. As of now, the two Phase II performers on the manta ray program, Northrop Grumman and Pacmar Technologies, are actively developing their respective prototypes. In September 2023, Pacmar Technologies conducted in-water splash tests of their scaled prototype off the coast of Oahu, Hawaii. These tests aim to evaluate the functionality of sensors, assess hydrodynamic performance, and analyze key autonomy behaviors. The company is set to test its full-scale energy harvesting system in 2024. Meanwhile, according to a DARPA press release dated May 1, 2024, Northrop Grumman's full-scale manta ray prototype completed its in-water testing off the coast of Southern California in February and March 2024. These tests demonstrated the UUV's hydrodynamic performance, including submerged operations using all its propulsion and steering modes, such as buoyancy-driven gliding, propellers, and control surfaces. Additionally, it was shipped in modular subsections from its build location in Maryland to the test site in California, and rapidly assembled in the field, showcasing its operational flexibility and readiness for deployment. Compared to existing uncrewed underwater vehicles, the Manta Ray stands out for its superior endurance, energy efficiency, and autonomous capabilities. Traditional UUVs, such as the Bluefin 21 and the Remus 600, often require frequent resurfacing for recharging and data transmission, limiting their range and duration. In contrast, the Manta Ray's innovative energy harvesting techniques allow it to remain submerged and operational for extended periods, covering greater distances without needing surface support. Moreover, the Manta Ray's advanced AI integration surpasses many current UUVs that rely on pre-programmed routes and surface commands. For example, the Seawolf UUV operates effectively in underwater surveillance, but requires significant human oversight for complex missions. The Manta Ray, equipped with sophisticated AI models, can adapt to dynamic environments and mission requirements independently, making it a more versatile and efficient tool for underwater operations. The development of the Manta Ray comes at a pivotal time in the strategic military landscape. Recent advancements, like Russia's Boré-class nuclear ballistic missile submarines, pose new challenges for underwater detection and defense. These new Russian submarines, equipped with pump jet propulsion systems, are reportedly five times quieter than previous models, making them harder to detect and track. This development underscores the need for advanced underwater surveillance and defense systems. In this context, the Manta Ray UUV plays a crucial role. Its ability to operate for extended periods without resurfacing, coupled with its advanced detection capabilities, makes it an essential tool for countering these new threats. It can patrol vast ocean areas, providing continuous monitoring and rapid response to potential threats. Perhaps the most crucial aspect of the manta ray lies in its potential contribution to national security through nuclear deterrence. 
Nuclear deterrence relies on the capability to detect and respond to potential threats with overwhelming force. Its ability to autonomously locate and track nuclear ballistic missile submarines would be a game changer in this equation. Once a threat is identified, this UUV can track and monitor the submarine, relaying critical information to command centers. This capability enhances the military's ability to respond to potential nuclear threats swiftly and effectively. As part of a broader strategy to maintain national security, the manta ray's capabilities make it an indispensable asset in the modern military arsenal.